In November 1095, Pope Urban II called on Western Christian leaders to reclaim the Kingdom of God from Muslim Turks and Arabs. As mentioned above, the First Crusade is generally accepted to be started with the call of Pope in the Council of Clermont. In reality, there were two separate calls to crusade around Western Europe at the same time. In the South, noble families pledged their oaths to Urban II and recruited men directly to join the cause. It was an orderly campaign that remained under direct papal control. But, in the North the call to holy war had been taken up by various wandering preachers who gave public sermons and enlist everybody without a selection process. In March 1096, four months before the First Crusade starts officially, an army commanded by Peter the Hermit crossed into German territory. The Peasants' Crusade had started and soon became a convergence point for other armed bands led by monks, warlordlets and fanatics. The first target of these radicals were the Jews who were increasingly growing in population over Europe and that were started to be considered as enemies of Christianity. Their intention was to wipe Judaism from the, the earth and this army created a widespread massacres of Jews across the Rhine Valley. Jews were forced, under the threat of death, to convert to Christianity in order to fulfill a necessary precondition for apocalypse the rest would be executed or driven to suicide. The army led by Peter the Hermit attacked the city of Zemun in Hungary. Thousands of inhabitants were killed in the siege, their flesh, arms and limbs placed in the Sava River as a warning to the city Belgrade which would be on their way. The bandit-like group and the leaders were all eventually slaughtered by the Hungarians. They had great losers. Many of the survivors regrouped under the army of Peter the Hermit and continue to clash with Christian Byzantine forces. They again had heavy losses at the hands of the Slavic nations in Balkans area. Many of them died of starvation or disease. Just after having the permission of the Byzantine Emperor Alexios at Constantinople, the strange army could pass into Asia Minor to the outskirts of Nicaea this first wave of crusaders soon met the Suljuk Turks in Anatolia. They were the new power in the east. The Seljuk Turks were originally nomadic horsemen from the steppes of Central Asia who converted to Islam in the 7th and 8th centuries. Using similar war tactics to those practiced by the Huns, the Seljuks slaughtered many of them and the Peasants' Crusade had been crushed. Being not entirely crushed the survivors managed to escape back to Constantinople and regrouped under the official Crusader armies. Our main subject in this video is not the whole story of Crusades but only a specific part of it which was reported to be happened in the Syrian city Mana. The Crusades controlled a wide part of Asia Minor and finally conquered the city of Antioch which had a population around 300,000. Many of the inhabitants and the resistance were sorted by swords, raped and tortured to death. The other victim, later became the Syrian city Mana. Again in that city many violent acts had been witnessed but something was worse than every violent act. It was cannibalism. Fulcher of Chartres who wrote chronicles about the First Crusade depicts what happened with his words below. They cut pieces from the buttocks of the dead Saracens, which they cooked and ate, and even if they were barely warmed over, not well done, they savagely filled their mouths and devoured them. Another chronicler, Radulf of Conn, graphically added, the pagan adults were boiled in a stew pot, the young boys were skewered on spits and eaten grilled. The jester Tancredi of Ralph of Conn says, there were even reports of human flesh being sold by street vendors, treated like cuts of meat from butchered livestock. The Taffers, for their part, are said to have gorged themselves shamelessly at these macabre feasts, boasting how the roasted Turks tasted better than spiced peacock.
Gesta Tancredi, which means, the deeds of Tancred in the Crusade, is a prosometric history by Ralph of Conn. His text provides an exceptional narrative of the First Crusade and events. Fulcher of Chartres was a priest who participated in the First Crusade. Under the command of Baldwin besides, we have to add that not every historian agree with what have been written by Ralph of Conn and Fulcher of Chartres saying that Conn hasn't even participated in the Crusade. They all accept an exaggeration. They say, Fulcher of Chartres wasn't a direct eyewitness but was at least in the country at the time and wrote only a few weeks after the events. He depicts these incidents as acts of desperation of starving men but not cannibalism. He says, before the siege ended, the corpses of enemies who'd fallen from the walls they were defending could have been eaten bu starving men. Therefore, the historians also insist that not a single Muslim source mentions anything about men eating other men or children. Cannibalism, in other words, men-eating men, in moral, cultural and religious point of views, is the greatest insult and humiliation that can be made against a person's soul. However, the most important question to consider is, is cannibalism, which is really an act of humiliation especially for the human spirit, worse than the other acts against living bodies like causeless killing, torture, rape, mass slaughter etc. in times of war.